Welcome, you're watching New Spirit TV. I'm Alexis Constantino and I'm here on the Tattershall Castle boat with Annette Martinson, actress, TV presenter and author, also Theta Healer. Welcome, Annette. How are you? I'm really good. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Mm. Tell me about your work at the moment. I believe you're acting. Yeah, my main focus is acting at the moment and I also do Theta Healing on, on the side. Tell me a little bit about Theta Healing. What What is it? We've had some previous discussions about it, but just tell people that don't know what it is. For me, it has been an amazing transition in my life. It's a, a way to actually be able to release um, trauma, episodes, whatever is keeping you back in your life. And it actually helped me move on because I was a bit stuck and it actually helped me just release all the things that I needed to release to get me to where I am today. When you want to release something with Theta Healing, exactly what is the process? What do you do? Well, basically what happens is uh, you go up to the light um, and you ask for healing. You go through certain procedures, which you know might take me a while to tell you, but you go through um, patterns and programs, past lives, vows, commitments. There's lots of things to it. And then you look at the actual issue that you have and then you look at where it's stopping you and then you remove it and you heal it at the same time and you take everything up to the light when you say the light um what what is that in terms of how would you describe that to people that wouldn't know what it is it's way beyond as far as you can go it's the white light uh, so I would say it's up in the universe, past the universe, past. I would say it's more where cr the creator is, the source. That's what I would say is the light. The source of all that is. Exactly, the source of all that is. That's where theatre is basically based. That's where you do all the healing work. Right. And um, what brought you into the field of mind, body, spirit? Because I know that you set up mind, body, spirit um, with another person in Cyprus. I did. Uh, about 12 years ago I was at a yoga class with Francesca Pinoni and we both wanted to do a mind body spirit exhibition but we both decided it was way too much work for just one person to do so we said well let's do it together so we started the mind body spirit and of course through that time I also learned various different therapies and I also self-developed myself and did certain things to help me move on in life I think you know and release all my feelings of being not good enough. I think everybody deals with those feelings of uh, lack of self-worth and you know particularly people that have experienced abuse and uh, you know hardship of different um, sorts. Um, what has been the thing that has been the primary shifting point in your life? I would say releasing the abuse that I have also been through. I've had various different types of abuse, which were obviously difficult and traumatic. But I can now talk about them with total no feeling. And they've been actually healed. All those episodes that have happened to me, I've actually released them and let them go. Because in one way, they were trapping me and keeping me where I was because I felt not good enough. And I, wouldn't, and I couldn't move on. So as soon as I released the trauma from the episode itself and all the emotions that go with it, and the thing was that I found that I had a pattern of it. I was attracting abuse into my life. So I would carry on in any cert, you know, certain thing that I was doing, whether it be emotional or physical or sexual, I would attract those people into my life to give me those experiences, which was crazy, really, but that's how it works. You keep attracting the same thing. And why do you feel that you attracted those situations? Uh, well, in a nutshell, basically, that comes from your life path, your destiny. Um, I actually asked for those experiences to happen in my life. And when I understood that, and I released them and let them go, I could actually see that the pattern was really at the bottom, was that I felt not good enough and I was attracting them into my life. But now I don't have that anymore. So I've, it's almost like I've, I don't want to say karmic, but I've released that pattern so that it's not going to happen anymore. So you feel that it was on a soul level that you somehow asked for that experience for your learning? Exactly. Though I had certain lessons to go through, certain episodes, certain traumas, certain feelings that I had to have experience. 
and even when I started out in this journey it was almost like well you know how how dare you you know abuse me because that's when I was stuck in the pity me pity me why me why me kind of scenario when of course when you're going through it you can't see the wood for the trees because you're stuck in the emotional but once you release the emotional you can see that that was only just really a lesson for you to move on to the next thing that you have to learn because we all have lessons in life otherwise we wouldn't be here you know we are spirit in a physical body learning as we go you've also written a book i believe uh, tell me about that it's more i would it's a cookbook kind of thing but it's a healing cookbook so it's for people that don't want to eat dairy and sugar and wheat and meat basically i don't eat meat um, and it's to heal your body as well. It's called a recipe for health, which helps you make recipes that are healthy, but meat-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, and then obviously gluten-free as well. Because uh, my time in Cyprus, I noticed that there were so many people that had intolerances, and they wanted to be healthy, and they were vegan. So I put everything all together into one cookbook. That's brilliant. And uh, where can uh, people purchase that book? Uh, the books actually on Amazon. Um, that's the way that I sell those books at the moment. A recipe for health. Mm -hmm. Great. And what's your current project? Your acting. Uh, well, actually, with another friend of mine, we've written a sitcom. I have the original idea, and she's written it. I said, you know, I've got this fantastic idea, and I said, you know, do you fancy writing it? And she basically sat down and wrote it, and it just was like verbal like that. And a sitcom came out in like a week or something. It was incredible, and so I've been casting the people trying to find the right people we've gone through a few cast changes and things but we've actually filmed a few of the scenes and we're filming again soon another scene and then i'm now looking for a production company that i can can actually film it for me and what's the name of this project that you're working on it's called in the spotlight it's really kind of based on my life, kind of batty, crazy woman going through all these experiences in her life. And now she decides she wants to be an actress. And it's all about that, really. And all the experiences that she has, you know, she goes to therapy, she goes to clairvoyance, she has past life experiences and, and, and about her new career that she's doing in London, where she has her friends and bits and bobs like that. You know, not going to give the whole plot away. Autobiographical. But something like that, yeah. yes. Wonderful, sounds great. So, all about your work and nettamartinson.com. It's lovely to have you here today. Thank you so much for Thank spending you. today with us. It's Thank been a you. real pleasure. Thank you very much. You're watching New Spirit TV. I'm Alexis Constantino. Thank you to Brian Wood for this interview and thank you to Tatshul Castle. See you next time.